Fighters from the Global South join Russia's army in Ukraine. Hundreds of foreign mercenaries from the so-called Global South who have joined the Russian armed forces to fight in Ukraine since the Kremlin ordered tanks over the border into its pro-Western neighbor last year. The Moscow Times edition wrote about it. The Global South is a term generally used to identify countries or states in the regions of Latin America, Africa, Asia, and Oceania. For some, the main motivation seems to have been money or to escape a Russian prison. For others, the reasons are ideological. Positive perceptions of Russia are much higher in some parts of Africa, Asia, and South America compared with the US or Europe, according to Ivan Klisi, an expert at the International Center for Defense and Security in Tallinn, Estonia. War-related disruption, particularly of food supplies, has caused hardship in some parts of the Global South, particularly Africa. I think the perception that people have is shaped by economic needs, Klischik told the Moscow Times. Russia has been trying to convince people that Ukraine's resistance is causing inflation and problems with food supply. At least 184 foreign men fighting for Russia have died in the 15 months since the start of the invasion, according to a casualty count maintained by independent Media Zona news website. There is no official Russian data on foreign mercenary deaths. While most foreign nationals in the Russian army appear to be from former Soviet republics in Central Asia, particularly Kyrgyzstan, Tajikistan and Uzbekistan, there are also soldiers from other parts of the Global South. Some of these men from Africa, the Middle East and Southeast Asia believe that Russia is fighting a just war against Western-backed Ukraine. However, the majority of the mercenaries from the Global South appear to be lured to the war in Ukraine by the Kremlin's promises of generous military salaries.